just got back from PA and our fields for the cows, our pastures have greened up considerably. They're a nice height now. We could put ladybug on them to start grazing every day. But first I gotta put up some fencing. Looking like spring here. Ooh, that one always smells so nice. Yeah, Betty. We get to see our orchard with blooms for the first time ever. They do call those stepping posts, but I find a big rubber mallet usually helps get them in really good, or it's a little bit better. And see, this time of year, the grass is really growing beautiful. Look at how tall. I mean, we got a good solid six inches, five inches of grass there. And uh, this is all new pasture. It's coming really nice. This is one of the reasons why cows are so nice as opposed to other animals when it comes to fencing. All we have for our perimeter fence here is this little little twine, step-in posts. It's very, uh, it's not very permanent, it's a very semi-permanent fence. And uh, it takes you just an hour or so to get it all up and going again. But the cows respect it, they don't push it. Now of course, you know, I'm sure somebody out there has had a problem cow. But our girls are well trained to it, they don't push it, and it'll keep them in. It's quick and easy and cheap. If these were goats, we'd have to have chain link fence around the whole thing. <laughs> This netting stuff you see me messing around with, it's really good for certain things, like if you have goats or sheep, uh, you know, if you have chickens, but it is by no means as easy to work with as the twine. It gets tangled up in sticks and brush. It's much better on a wide open pasture where you already know the dimensions and that it works. Uh, but if you don't need it, this twine and stepping post is the way to go. It's, it's a lot easier to work with. Did it roll down the hill into the bushes? What are the odds that my sweet, 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 sweet husband will get it for me? Depends. Are you going to film me doing it? Here it is. Don't do it. You're going to get it all tangled up. Don't do it, babe. We do things differently. Oh, good. Look at that. Problem solved. I think to most people it wouldn't make sense 
We're only here for two more weeks, but we're gonna spend all day today fencing in a pasture, but we just can't look at all this nice grass growing out here and not have a cow on it. Let them in here, get them some water, some hay. Even when there are grass, we keep hay out for them 24 seven. They need that dry roughage too. We gotta get the power to it. done with the fencing. Took a couple hours. That uh, twine and post, zip and post setup is so easy to do. It doesn't take long at all. And now, oh, that shocked. It's working. Now the girls are out under the apple tree, getting a little shade. And uh, the cool thing is that whole pasture connects all the way up here on the hill by the house. So we'll watch them, they'll walk up here, they'll wind up right by the house in the shade. It's a really beautiful setup. I do like this uh, scenic wise. This is a beautiful place and uh, we'll let the girls enjoy it for another week or two before we head out. If you like our videos and you want to help us keep doing them, there's a really easy way to do that. When you're buying things like toilet paper, paper towels, just you know, household supplies, paper, whatever, order it on Amazon. But before you go to Amazon, type in amsteady.com. It'll forward you to Amazon. But in that millisecond that you get forwarded there, we get a bonus for sending you there and it doesn't cost you a penny extra. Helps us do this channel. Thank you so much. You can even just click on that link right there if you want to go there. We'll see you in tomorrow's video.